What's up, Nerds and Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Dark Chronicle, Dark Cloud 2. We are back at Balance Valley, and I did what I promised, or at least said that I would do. I got the Sheriff. I got Sheriff Blinkhorn for our party. Like, basically, I won his race. The thing is, I tried it once, and on the first try, I, it worked. I, like, what was it, two minutes and one second, I think you can get, you are able, like, to have everything above you fail. And I was, for some reason, I did it in 158, I think. So, basically, I had quite a lot of time left. I, I, I had no idea how I did it, but first time, first try, which was great, because I was getting ready to sit here for, I don't know how long. Hue abilities. Opens locked doors, opens locked treasure chests. Oh, it says you pair items. Interesting. I mean, I could take him with me and uh, not pay that price, but also he sells me bread. He is amazing. Uh, let's go for six. Um, we got, I think, 20 antidote drinks, so... Nothing we really need. Do we want to sell that one? I think we do. By the way, yeah, two. I uh, did two things. I upgraded the Bone Rapier to plus five, so I can spectrumize it into Monica's weapon later on. And, like I said, I got the Sheriff. So, I'm pretty alright so far. Mm, keeps beasts away deep. Hmm, I don't know what to do with that, but hey. Okay. Just doesn't really matter what he can do. We want to see what the sheriff could do because I have no idea. Sheriff Flinkhorn, do tell me. Few abilities. Show me the monster nodes. Oh, he can. Oh. Interesting. So he can tell us what's good against what. Nice. What is FL? Like weaknesses FL. Almost all of them have FL. Exorcism EX exorcism makes sense. SM would be smash probably. FL flame? Is it called flame? I think it's called flame. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so basically you... We, we don't have the need to take him with us because we could just look it up everywhere else. I don't think there would be any merit <laughs> any uh value in us taking him with us because basically he doesn't do anything so and it would be very rare to actually go somewhere see a monster and be like oh what's good against this one like that's not really how we do things we just hit him and then we see what sticks <laughs> okay um I'm pretty sure it was here, right? Where he has to live. Parn resides in the valley and Blinkhorn resides in the valley. Yes, we can do that. Can do both of that. We should have... We should have some free houses. I mean, there's light in it, so I guess... Okay, Stewart's house. Gotcha. Uh, you got this. I mean, I could just build some more, but let's see. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have some... We have some houses, at least at least one that is not yet. Oh, see, yeah. Move people in. Let's go with... You can escape dungeons at any time. Oh, and we'll sell you paint. That's great. Sheriff Blinkhorn. Let's... let's wait. I've got to see an example for safety. I need a fence or a gate around my house. Okay. Parn? I'm not too keen on the color of the roof. I'm more of a purple roof kind of guy. Okay. Uh, I can deal with that no problem purple we got 20 purples so that's not a big deal move people in parn yes change in the future great 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 uh, so what about here okay there's also no one here which means I'm gonna try okay let me let me try something stupid. Uh, 
Like... <laughs> this might seem incredibly stupid. But maybe the game lets me do it. Move people in. Sheriff Blinkhorn. Okay, okay. I, I was thinking, maybe, like, the game detects, okay, there is something, and that's it. Uh, rolling log. Uh, we would go to the old man with that, right? Who is in... You know what? We'll do it the easy way. Balance Valley Station. We just need to do this, then we change the future, then we can go to the lighthouse, and after that we can progress. We can progress to get progress. English is an interesting language. Anyway. <laughs> and then we can get... Um, what's her name? Milane? I think it was Milane. In our party again to upgrade her sword better. And with her sword, I mean Monica's sword. Because... We need five synthesis points to put... Oh, wait. What can you do again? Oh. Bewitches charms anyway with, within a certain range. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and that's just the basic armbands. That's nothing that we actually need right now. Horinconda, here you are. Yes, I need some. Give me some rolling logs. Thank you. How about a nice, like... Seven, seven hundred something like that. Like I, we're gonna get quite a lot of them. How about two hundred? You know what? Let's say two fifty. Okay, we 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 might need them later on anyway. Yeah, let's let's just get everything to at least fifty. As long as we got some money. Here we need 12, that's above 50, here we need 1, 11 here, because like I said, we do have money and there is not really much, I don't think I need flour to build anything, so these things to actually, uh, to actually cook and stuff, I would, I won't take. Oh, I, yeah, did the math wrong, whatever. Um, let's do this. The silver ball, I don't think we really need it. Uh, light element, you know what, the elements are nice and all, but I think, I think we're good on that. Just one thing I wanted to see, we did get two gold colors, didn't we? And I believe we only gave Parn one? But I don't see uh, I don't see yeah I don't see another one <laughs> I don't see another one so we're gonna keep at it okay move can we move from in here to Balance Valley yes we actually can that's nice that was strange wait there's another change in the future. Got a change in the future when Parn moved in. We haven't put Blinkhorn in. Did it, is it just did it just say that so that we know that we can now go to the future? I'm not quite sure, and I might have to put away the trees around the house. You know what? Let's do 50 because I'm pretty sure someone else will want some later on anyway. Okay, let's go with this, like, as basically as close as possible to the house to eh, take the least amount of fences, although it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, right? Can we? Nope. Damn it. We need to remove this tree for now. Uh, okay. Can we get rid of this tree? Yes. We can clean up this tree and that tree, and then we're gonna place them right there again. Place thorn tree here, because I do like him. Oh, wait. 
Yes? No? Okay. Thorn tree. Place it again. Wait, we could place it here. Nice. Uh, we're gonna make a, a... What's it called? Okay, iron gate. Did, did we have... Yeah, we, we got a wooden gate as well. Gonna build one. Gonna place it so that we know how much... What's it called? How much fence we still have to do? I why can't that just? Ugh. Why doesn't that connect to the fence? That makes me. I don't like it, because why have a gate that doesn't connect to your fence? It doesn't look. Oops. Uh, doesn't look good enough for you to say no way. We'll leave it that way. It just it it just doesn't look right. And we don't have... Ugh, that looks... You know what? Let's see if that's enough. He has a gate. Vacant house. Oh, it's written... Oops. It's written on there if it's a vacant house. I'm kind of stupid every now and then. I like those wooden homes. Like, I really do. And the sheriff doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, there's been a change in the future. I'm, I think it will say that over and over again until we go to the future. Okay, great. Now we should have everything. Lighthouse Moon Crystal Restored. Okay, yeah. That's something we couldn't do yet. Did we need something in the future? I'm not quite sure. Like, I, I know we couldn't, we couldn't go to the lighthouse yet. Because I think we needed to do something to restore it. I'm, I'm not quite sure what, why we did that right now. But I, I know we had to do it. That much I know. Anyway, let's see. Going to go to the future. Maybe we'll find one or two chests. With hopefully some interesting items. And we got some cutscenes. Great. Yeah, sorry. Shimming around. Switch up by seating. Star items. Hmm. A place like that might sell a star glass. But maybe. Why do we need a star glass again? Star glass? Oh, okay, got it, got it. A star glass is a mysterious item that can reverse the flow of time. But it can only turn back time to a moment of deep significance to the person that uses it. If we use a star glass to go back into Lynn's memory, we can get back to the time when Lynn and Crest were attacked. Great idea. But it won't work unless Lynn can get her memory back. Makes sense. Right. First, let's try to get a hold of the star glass. I absolutely love the idea that Max lives in a town that is completely shut off to the outside. Uh, okay. It's completely shut off to the outside. No one basically knows. Like, they, they all know that there is an outside, but they will not go there because, like I said, they are shut off. And on the outside, there is, like, the, there is stuff like time travel, which I thought at first was basically uncommon. And for some reason, nobody freaked out about it. But, I mean, there are star glasses that are items to actually let you time travel. As long as it has significance. Like, oh, Fruit of Eden, nice. That just, that is bizarre. And I freaking love it. And Potato Pie, nice. Like, I really, really love the, the, the whole idea behind this game. I know I said it time and time again. I know you might be, uh, you might be sick of it by now. But I freaking love this game. Like, it's just so good. It looks really great, like PS2 great, and it's just such an amazing game. Okay, I mean, I got, I got three items now, one for either one of them, and one for either one. Of them. No, um, yeah, one for each character, and one that I can give to either one of them. That's what I wanted to say. I don't know if that came across right, but there are more chests. I like it. Obtained emeralds. We, we... Okay, what does that do? Gorgeously green gem. Also called gem of gods. Okay. 
increases defense, increases defense, and one of them can get an HP boost. Uh, that would be Max then. He is... Although Monica still has less defense, so... You know what? Let's use a Monica, why not? We will probably find more like that one that I just saw. Fruit of Eden. Got another one, that one will go to Max. It's it's a nice idea that those items lie around every now and then. Problem is, I really have to... I really have to look at everything all the time. Like, I can't just go to the shop and be done with it because there might just be some more boxes or chests lying around. Okay, here we've been. Here we found the other things. Here we went up. Let's go to the right now. I think. And since I'm really really bad at remembering stuff or basically orientation i really can't always tell where i've been or where i haven't i'm pretty sure i've been here as well yeah of course we talked to this guy didn't have to say anything of significance so basically that should be it right because we've been wait have we been there I'm not sure. That's a big problem. Is that the shop, or is that the uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the 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 guy's restaurant? Restaurant. That was the word I was looking for. I wanted to say cuisine. I mean, that's basically not wrong, but I just needed the word restaurant. Oh, but great that I just got came here. Um, use on max. I mean, I, I could have. I, I don't know why I would, but uh, I could have just uh, given every single fruit of Eden to one of the two. Like, I could have done that. I don't know why I would would have, but I could have. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Let's check this out. I think this is the restaurant. Nope, this is actually the shop. Howdy, we got a great selection for you. Our weapons are known for being strong and sturdy. Okay, that's a weapon shop. Swan, why would we need that? We already have them. Sandbreaker, we already made that once. Cobrazard, bandit breastard. Okay, so just some some rather strange weapons. Let's let's say call it like that. In case you want to do something with it. Great Crest has disappeared with the moon crystal in order to protect it? I don't understand. Well, that's basically... There is nothing more to understand than that. Hey, can you be the ones? The Great Crest told me that one day a boy and a girl would come to me. I just knew this prophecy would come to pass. But unfortunately, the Great Sage has disappeared as well. Um... Uh, so, the prophecy was that a boy and a girl would come to him. What? Does that, like, is there a reason he got told? Was it, yeah, they come to you and you will help them, or they will come to you and they will save the world, or was it just a boy and a girl will come to you? Because if that's the case, that would be incredibly stupid, because that doesn't, that doesn't need to be a prophecy about that, right? Does the prophecy have to have some kind of reason? That doesn't really matter. Oh, they wrong, wrong again. <laughs> I'm, I'm so incredibly bad. Like, <laughs> recently I've, I've realized it again. I've watched some videos of like um, people like Markiplier play some scary games and check the guy and those guys, where they run around first person in big houses, in big factories, in whatever. And like, <laughs> they're like, okay. Oh, I now found this key. Yeah, I know where it was. I have to go like out here, then there, then in that room, from that there, because there is a passage over there, and then uh, down one floor, and over here, and here's the door. And he's like, he's like straight, straight ahead, and he finds it, and there is the door, and good. Or, uh, oh no, I have to run away. I can run to that, 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 that room, and here I can hide there. And I'm like, just, I, 
I'm only watching this, I'm not even playing this, and I have no idea what the next room is. He knows pretty much the whole layout after playing it once, and I can't even tell you what the next room will be. It's just... I, I'm really bad at stuff like that. Different items have different effects. Some can help you others change to form weapons. If you try experimenting, you'll be able to beat even the toughest of enemies. Try everything you can. But sure, thanks. Star Leotard. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> like, oh, oh, by the way, interesting. We can buy crystals now. Like, I... We can just buy power crystals now. That's amazing. And you know what? Let's buy some mighty healing. Oh, 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 okay. First, let's buy a star glass. We can only buy one. Makes sense. And we got rid of all of our money. We still only have 69 gilda. Nice. <laughs> we have 75 of those crystals. You know what? We're gonna... Get rid of 25. Do we have anything else above 50? No, we don't. We got a lot of material. You know what? We can actually... How many do we have again? 24. So we'll sell 19. So that we have 5 left. Here we will sell 24 so that we have 5 left. Because I'm not fishing at the moment. Might do later on, but... Not right now. Oh, wow. We... Already got a lot of. We got a lot of uh, replacement money already. I like it. Um, anything else we want to sell? Like anything we really do not need at all. Oh yeah. Uh, Twenty-seven. Quick maths. Do we have anything like? Poison. Nah, well, it doesn't really bring us anything. So, like I said, I I just bought this new outfit just to see how it looks. Because the thing is, there is at least this one outfit where she has a... Uh, what's it called? Where she has a... Just a, a, a cat outfit thing like that. And I, that makes me uncomfortable. So, I'm just gonna see if that looks normal. Because I, I like costume changes in games. I, I really do. Uh, it's just when you play as a girl that's like 12, I mean, I think she's older, I don't know if they actually ever said how old she is. Yeah, no, you know what? I don't think so, no, no. That makes me uncomfortable, I... Mm -mm. I would like to give both new outfits, but... No. No. I mean, that, that one was... Uh, that could have... Like, I, I, I could use it. It's not that bad. Like like I said, not like the... Uh, leopard outfit or whatever it was called. Not like the cat outfit. But... Uh, no. No. <laughs> like, if she was a... A, a Final Fantasy... Beginning 20 years, like, young woman. I wouldn't have any problem with that. I, I would go with the, like, sexy outfits and stuff like that. But, like I said, she's, like, 12. At least she looks that way. No. Absolutely not. Uh, we're gonna go and save. Where was the save point? Nope, that was not it. No, we're just gonna go to the station because there I know of the safe point and then we This rocks texture wait, do you see my mouse cursor? No, you don't this rocks texture makes it look like a strange face Yeah, it doesn't really matter Go to the station. Yes, and from there we can move to The lighthouse there's something on the on the bottle. Doesn't really matter. It's outside, so I mean, as long as it's out, as something is outside on my bottle, I can drink with no problem. As long as as soon as something swims inside, <sighs> no thanks. 
save complete, that's nice. How long are we recording for? 25 minutes without doing anything. Well, no, we actually did quite a lot. So, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that because we are, we are doing good. We're doing progress this time. Like we don't have to fight every single episode. We can actually make some progress. So let's see if we can if, if we can already go here. Like I know she she needs her memories back, but we somehow need to bring her memories back, right? Be able to have crest now. Okay. Just don't break it and say no. Er, nothing worked out. Does she have her memories back yet? They're looking at her like. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. That thing just does its stuff. You don't have to break it. You don't have to say spell. You don't have to activate it anyhow. It just that's it. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm I'm all right with that. Ooh, that's a beautiful lighthouse. I like it. So, are we back in time now, or did we just this switch this part? Lighting up the ocean here now, but one day it'll be bright enough to illuminate the whole planet. Really? How do you know? You could call it a hunch. You know everything, don't you, Master? <laughs> Master, what's that? <laughs> how, how did that happen? Where did that come from? Hello? And how did she know? What in the... Who are you? Oh, that guy. I. Oh my goodness, the left one. So, that's a freaky that's one. What? It Even does. All there is to see in the future is darkness and despair. Uh, what shall I do? Destroy it. Those are Emperor Griffin's orders. Yes, sir. It's amazing how everything just changes every time. This, this thing can show the future. Awesome. Now, where are we? Because Crest now will try and save everything. And with that, and by that, doing that, he will give his life. That much we know. So we are trying to save him, I think, right? Pretty sure we do. So we would need to come here quickly now. Just appear, maybe. Out of thin air. No, we're just still standing there, look. Oh, that's what happens. Interesting. Could, could any one of you move, maybe? Hello? Lynn, you wait here. Max, let's go. Okay, okay. Okay. Good thing. And she's like What? He will die again. <laughs> okay, okay, now I'm Okay, I made it. I'm 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 all right with this mostly, but now we're in the past, and we're here to help him. And we probably have to like reflect some bullets, or we jump over there and just beat What's them. What's going on? Who are you? We'll explain later. <laughs> we're from the future, helping you to defeat them. Just saying. Gaspard. Yeah, that sounds like a villain's name. Like, I okay, Gaspard, that, that's pretty alright. Griffin, Gaspard, and the other Watch one out. is probably is Buck Teeth. <laughs> no. We were standing in front of a burning lighthouse because it got attacked and it started to burn. We 
took the elevator in the lighthouse that was on fire because it was shot with and now burnt. We walked around on the lighthouse that was on fire. Because it burned, because it got shot at. And now he's like, oh, watch out, the lighthouse is on fire. Like, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I mean, what the? It's all right, Lynn. You're right here. Uh, I mean, it's it's just that the writing in this game is at times a bit janky. <laughs> Master, where are you going? I mean, where we? No, doesn't. Okay, no, I'm I'm not I'm not ranting. To use the crystal. Hmm. I want to synthesize that crystal and put it in my weapon. I'm just saying. Damn. Was that some magic jump or was it just his normal jump? Because damn! Those are some jumps. Do it, use it. Because they seem to be out of ammo anyway. <laughs> can we just... I mean, we probably can jump that far, right? In that game, that should be possible. And then just beat him on his own ship. But I like the henchman's design. Like, absolutely great design. This guy, just okay. Like, decent villain. You see he's a villain and stuff like that. But the other guy, the henchman, oh damn. Yeah, we can jump over there. Did you just jump as well? Now we got a boss fight against at least one of them. That's the one we saw technically in the intro. I, I don't know if I ever showed that. I think in the first episode I did. Doesn't really matter. Well, well. A visitor, eh? Hey, Jamming. Why don't you head inside? Jamming? Yes, sir. Okay, I like... Anti-teleports. I like yes, Jamming. Lord. Remember me? Nope. It's Monica. Monica Raybrandt. Raybrandt. Yes, you must be King Raybrandt's girl. My, my. Imagine that. Running into a princess in a place like this. You tore my kingdom to bits and you murdered my father. Damn. Harsh. Now you're going to pay. Murdered? Oh, now that hurts. Your father and I fought fairly. He simply wasn't good enough to beat me. Makes sense. Makes sense. In a fair fight, my father never would have lost to the likes of you. Well then, why don't you just try me for your second? Get ready, Gaspard! Okay, so I'm guessing I have to fight with her here. Because Max seems to be... Fire! Head towards the center! <sighs> okay. This might be kind of a switching between those two. Like... It's... I, I'm guessing that I have to put out those flames somehow as Max. And Monica, in the meantime, has to fight. Wow, that's some glitchy stuff. Aww, we don't have... We don't fight it ourselves? Aww. Oh, maybe we do. Dark Assassin is my heart. Okay, I'm all for this. You know what? What we're gonna do? We're gonna try and poison this guy. Ouch. Uh, good thing that I upgraded her defense and stuff. Uh, that did quite the number on us. Damn it. Okay. Come on, let me let me poison you, you piece of sh piece of something. Okay. Damn it, I was not fast enough. Item, use our last bread. We still got a lot of other items to heal, so I'm not that worried. I just don't want to do that the whole time. I might just get closer to him right now. Because we have the stop ability in our sword. Oh, wow, he's actually pretty dang strong. Okay, switching to max. I like that, I like that. No effect, okay. Can we just put it out like this? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, we can we can basically pretty much do that. Is there anything behind her? Yep, there is. 
So I should not lock on. I absolutely should not lock on. Constantly moving the camera. No locking on, just destroying the flame. That doesn't attack me. It does do not attack me. I like it. This guy was actually stopped. Oh, that's that's really cool. I'm guessing that I could. Oh wow, that is a great boss fight. No. First of all, no. That is not true. There were no flames around her. I know that because I looked there. Second of all, thankfully, we just saved. Because that, that was bullshit. I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that one. Because as long as I... I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I just overlooked one of the flames. Like, definitely. But, like, oh wait, since we're here... Why not buy some food? Who did we buy food from again? Donnie, right? Did did he have the crunchy bread as well? I don't think so. We could go to... Polly? Uh, was Polly the baker? Whoever, whoever the baker was, we don't have her with us, pretty sure. She lives in the other... Part, like in the other, in the, in the forest, something like that. I, I think, in Sindane, that's what it was called. Pretty sure. So... Okay. We can see if... I, I think Donnie only has normal bread, right? Yeah, 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 there's normal bread. We have 15 of these things with 8 roasted chestnuts. Yeah, we, we don't really need more than that. We shouldn't need more than that. Uh, Balance Valley, Starlight Canyon. We're just gonna go straight in and just skip all the cutscenes. Because, I mean, we just saw them. Uh, okay, so, like, we, we know locking on is a bad idea. Monica just can go to town on that guy because he is actually a pretty decent boss right now. But it's just, it's Max's part that seems a bit harder. That's wrong. I misclicked. Doesn't really matter though. Okay. Skip it. Wait for a bit. Skip it. Wait for a bit. Skip it! Wait for a bit. Because we can't press start in the... Oh, come on! Unskippable cutscene. <sighs> oh, okay. Skippable, it's just the first part. Skip again. And that should start the fight, right? Yeah. Quickly. How stupid would he look? Like, how dumb would his face be if we just switched outfits mid-fight? <laughs> oh, we got a crit on him. I totally forgot about that as well. We, we not only have the time stop ability that we just used right now, we also have... Uh, we also have the crit ability. Okay. They move way faster, it seems. Like... What? How did that happen? We just wanna keep an eye on her. Because we are going around. There is... They, they, they spawn like... Pretty much clockwise, counterclockwise, something like that. Using our last bread, doesn't really matter. Stop ability is awesome. Evil flame, another evil flame. Another one. A 
Okay, I could use the circle button to get the camera behind me, but then I would... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I would concentrate on one enemy. No, um... Ah, what was... It? That doesn't really matter. Lock on. I would lock on to an enemy. There are no flames right next to her, so... Nope, that was lock on. I didn't want to do that. Holy... This is getting a bit... I mean, it's, it's not like it's completely stressful because they don't really move that fast. And so far they all seem to be moving at the same pace. Okay, great. We can do this, no problem. The stop ability is pretty much the greatest thing ever. Because against a an, an boss enemy that we have to hit multiple times, like... Multiple times stop ability is great because if even the one out of those multiple times stops him great Please. Well done your skills surpass even your father's yeah Accept it you lost I he, he did Okay. Sorry, I had to write something back. I like her sword. The, the color is a bit strange and that everything is pretty much the same color, but it's, it's, I like it. Looks really cool. The, the hand guard looks awesome. Yeah, you won't kill, we all know that. Huh? What was that? What in blazes? We're under attack from the moon crystal. <laughs> what should I do? Blasted wizard. Annihilate that lighthouse. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, attack the lighthouse. Keep attacking the lighthouse. Okay, now annihil annihilate the lighthouse. I mean, that's not how that works because you couldn't do it anyway. And he shoots back. I like it. Can someone please just block it? Maybe just. Don't know. Deflected, reflected, deflect, deflect. Just some something flecked it back. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about mostly. I would just have thrown it back somehow, but okay. So his barrier will. Oh, it's about to crack. Master! Crest. He's living. He wouldn't live another one, but he's living. Don't you dare fall down now. We came here to rescue you, you son of a... Crystal. D d no! We got healing items, just saying. <gasps> so did we just delay his death or his defeat for a few more seconds because we were there? God damn it. It's no good. The ship's going down. Get us out of here. I like that the lighthouse is shaped like a Don't leave me. like a, a hourglass. When you're not hurt. No, master. But you can't die. I I'm ready. <sighs> no, you're going to be a sage. You still have a lot of training left. Still, I absolutely do not like her voice when actress. You do it. Please. Fulfill my dream. No, I can't. Not without you. I know you can. You will. You, you'll be a sage. Saving people just by being there. That's the kind of sage you want to be, right? That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Oh, come on. Master. Master.
Master, can you see? The stars are beautiful. I wonder what kind of sage you wanted to be. To me, you already were one. For ages and ages, you were a sage from way back when. I was saved just by having you with me. But I'm sure you didn't want to be a sage just for me. Right, Master? You're up there watching, aren't you? I'll show you. I'll be the legendary sage you've always dreamed of becoming. So she accepted his death? Because she saw it another time? Or was it just that the last line that he told her to be a sage was the, that thing that just made her get over it? I... Okay, I, I won't question it. We couldn't save him. Could we technically use the hourglass I guess again? Not. You're wrong. <laughs> what do you mean? The future changed, all right. Now I'm going to be a sage. I promised Master Crest. And I think I'll rescue him when I become a sage myself. Oh. No, I mean, that's the plan. Good. Monica? Max? Thank you. I'll never forget you. Good luck in your battle against the evil. You bet. Take care of yourself, Lynn. I mean, okay. She has a goal now. She wants to be the... A sage that saves people just by being there, which is the kind he wanted to be, so her question of what kind of sage do, did you want to be was stupid, but hey, I'm okay. Uh, and so she will become the next sage, and when she is strong enough, she will go back and rescue him. At least that's how I... That's how I... That's what I got from all of this. But wouldn't that change everything up from this point now? Oh, old woman Lynn. Madam Crest. Yeah, <laughs> she took his name. Mm, whatever. Hmm? It's them. I'd almost given up waiting. You've been a long time coming, huh? I've been waiting for you to come. <laughs> you see. I've become a sage, just like I promised. Okay, I like her design and I like her voice actress. Don't tell me. Lynn? No way! What do you mean? How rude! I am Lynn! What? So you made it. You became a legendary sage. Yes, that's right. But I took on my teacher's name. I see. There's no need to explain why you're here. I've got a fair idea already. Because I've lived my time straight through, unlike you. So, shall we find out about Griffin then? Yes, that'd be great, Lynn. <clears throat> Don't address me like that. You must call me Crest, the Great Sage. Yeah, sure. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like her. Like, old lady Lynn is great. Absolutely dig her design. Like her voice actress, like I said, she kind of gives off a Miyazaki vibe, I think. Like, I, I, I like those guys. Like, I've always had a soft spot for designs like that. Like Vivi from Final Fantasy as well. No face, just glowing eyes. And it's just, I, I like that. She's like, <laughs> okay. Griffin is 10,000 years in the past now. So we are from hundred uh, from a hundred years in the past, right? And he's ten thousand years. That's right. It seems that he's sending an unthinkably powerful consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with this consciousness. Hmm. So it's not even him himself. It's his consciousness. It's basically Sauron. So they're all being controlled. They're acting 
They just sympathize with him, basically. Huh. They're evil from the beginning, just like Griffin himself. In other words, they've sold their souls to the darkness. Griffin is using those people and trying to destroy the world. What does he plan on getting out of that? Who knows? But I believe the only way to stop him is to go to his time and destroy him there. Okay, I'll I'll make a prediction right now. Like I said, I've never played this game through. This is further than I've ever been. So, and I've never spoiled myself on how this whole thing ends. So, my guess, why... Like, the way Griffin looks, he could be one of those I just want to destroy that stuff. I just want to plunge everything into darkness, kind of. Ones that are just out there for chaos. But... The way this game is written, I will predict that he lost someone and he wants to destroy the world because of that to let everyone know darkness that he has known and stuff like that. Pretty sure. But we will see about that. Go back 10,000 years? Sure. That's right. But how can we go 10,000 years in the past? Your Atlamedia can only travel 100 years at best. Yeah. Those stones were never intended for this kind of thing. We need a bigger one. So what can we do? A 10,000 year leap through time. I don't even know if it's possible. But if it could be done. Go on. Those from the Luna Lab would be the ones that could do it. Luna Lab? Luna Lab is short for Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. <laughs> Lunatic Wisdom. It used to be the largest research facility in the world. Funny. It was on the Venicchio coast. Was? You mean that it's vanished now too? Yes. So, the Venicchio coast is next. I mean, by now he should know that everything vanished. Like, there is nothing out of interest in this world anymore unless we rebuild it. So, right? that <laughs> settles it. You'd better get going. Thank you, Crest the Great Sage. See you, Lynn. <laughs> okay, but we want to run around this future one more time just to see if there are any chests now, like up above there. My master, watch over those children. Look after those who saved me. Too bad, I like Crest. a sage and had become strong i'm sure crest had become a star and was looking down on lynn from above because for lynn crest would always be the one true sage forever yeah it's still a beautiful story like tragic but it's just ah <sighs> would you call that romantic i think ah there's a chest i see i think there's another one i see at I, I saw at least one. So, like I said, checking out the future. Ah. Great, you're just in time. We're ready to go again. Just let me know when you're off. Thanks, but no thanks for now. Oh, I need to pee so badly. <laughs> like, since the last, uh, I guess, 10 minutes. Anyway, <laughs> but we're still gonna go and check out the future one more time and then I'm gonna end the episode <sighs> yes go to balance valley please and thank you there's been a change in the future you don't say <laughs> oh wait was right next to it so anyway now we can finally take someone else with us again so Milane it is isn't she like she lives in this village, right? Oh, am I shiver now? Yeah, I shivered. It looks like Starlight Temple. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, so that's basically a bonus. It's all thanks to you two. Oh, 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 give me something. Oh, that looks good. Hello? Serpent Slicer. Thank you, Great Sage. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay. Serpent Slicer, how good is it though? Like just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good, right? Uh, status. 54, durable point. Lightning scale. And two synthesis points. Is 
status quite a bit more. I mean, in theory, we could take this one. And take the one we have right now. Synthesize this one, because it's a plus five, into the new one. That might be an interesting idea. I just don't know if that would be so useful. Oops. Status and build it up. We would need pretty much everything. Or we'll just build it up right next to the other sword. Anyway, like I said, I really need to pee. So I, I, I gotta check out all the chests. Because I've seen, yeah, there's one and one next to the pillar over there. So at least two new ones. Which parfait? Great. Potato pie. Awesome. Can we maybe find one more fruit of eat? Uh, that's a no. At least four up here. Uh, how do we get down? Okay, over there. Do I really go through all of it? I think so. Because, like I said, they could be pretty much everywhere. Though, I would guess that this was all of them now, because we got two more, like one for each character. So, I doubt there are more, but I mean, that's that's basically free HP and uh, defense that we would miss out on if we don't find it. The good thing is, Sindane, I got everything so far, I know that. So we don't need to go back to Sindane to check it all out. And here, once we are done with this, because we fully completed this timeline, uh, we would be done as well. Like, we wouldn't need to come back here anymore. Once we've found every single chest. And like I said, I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure there is no chest left. But in case there is, since we don't really plan on coming back here unless the story somehow wants us to, it would be better to just be sure of it. And I gotta, gotta watch every single step, every single tile basically. But it looks, it really does look like we got it all. That's good. Because so far there has been, there, wait. Oh no, that was just a shadow. Um, there has never been an instance where anything was inside a building, right? Okay, that's how you get up there. So, did we just go all around? Pretty sure we did. Awesome. Yeah, now we can be pretty sure that we found every single thing. I can go save. And end the episode to then go pee, because like I said, I really need to go. <laughs> uh, and it's almost an hour again, so that's pretty, pretty decent. Can we skip that? Yes, we can. That's nice. We will save here in the valley. Uh, where was the save point again? On the other side, I think, right? Somewhere around here? Yeah. Found it. Saved it. And then next time we're gonna get Milane. And just keep on going, keep on trucking, as they say. I don't have a truck. I don't have a, a driver's license, so a truck would truck wouldn't do. Swat. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus, and I'm gonna run. Bye bye.